guys, welcome back to another beer review. Uh, tonight we're checking out one of the latest releases from my favorite San Diego brewery. This is from Modern Times. This is Fortunate Islands with Grapefruit Zest. Um, the beer is already open. I've got some friends over, we're sharing beers, and I opened it I'm like, shoot, I should do a review for this. Um, this is basically Fortunate Islands, which is their, they call it a hoppy tropical wheat beer with grapefruit zest added. They do like a special release beer once a month. This was the release for, I believe it's going to be for August. I mean, obviously this is time of recording the very end of July, but I was uh, at the brewery over the weekend picking up some other bottles and I grabbed these because it, it was there. So you guys in the Southern California area should be seeing this beer this week sometime. Fortune Islands, one of my favorite shelf beers. For my money, it's the best shelf beer in San Diego. Citra hopped wheat beer. It's freaking amazing. I can't believe I've never done a review of that beer on this channel. Um, I mean, for those of you, for those of you who don't do beer reviews and for those of you who do do them, you know, beer reviews are kind of a pain. Like you'll come home from work or whatever you're doing and you want to have like a beer and you just don't want to turn your camera on and you don't want to turn your microphone on. And you don't want to turn your computer on. Or in my case, you don't want to turn all these games on. You just want to open a beer and hang out. And if you're cooking or if you're hanging out with friends, there's not, always, there's not always time to do beer reviews, so I've missed out on reviewing a lot of good beers because of that, but it is what it is. You guys who review beers, you guys who have like five, six, seven, eight hundred, a thousand beer reviews, props to you guys because it's freaking amazing. So let's go ahead and get this one poured. Uh, this is a 5%, like it says, hoppy zesty wheat. Um, Citra and Amarillo hops in this beer. And there's actually like four different malts. It's on the back of the bottle. Wheat malt, two row, caramel. Oh, caramel Vienna, caramel Vienna malts. So uh, really, really interested to check out the bottle version of this. I had it on draft over the weekend and the guys in the tasting room said that, uh, <laughs> there's a little like bug in front of me, said that the bottles were even better. So beer pour is a crystal clear, like an orange, kind of a tangerine color. Bright white head, about a half a finger with that pour. We didn't pour it too aggressively. A um, little bit of bubbles. It's not crazy carbonated, but there's some bubbles streaming up to the top of that. But it looks exactly like Fortune Islands does. So, wow, I can already smell that. Let's go ahead and get uh, the aroma on this one. Yeah, just big, 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 big grapefruit zest. This um, nose reminds me a lot of grapefruit swoping. Almost like fake, like that much grapefruit. This bug right here is, seriously? <laughs> the hell yeah uh, this is very reminiscent of grapefruit sculpin you get that grapefruit peel and then underneath that you get the citra the citra is a little bit hidden in this one just because of all the grapefruit zest that you're getting that like bitter grapefruit zest um, but you do get those tropical fruit notes the orange kind of a tangerine peachy thing going on but yeah this is uh this is predominantly like the label says with grapefruit zest this is the the nose is huge grapefruit zest so Let's go ahead and dig in. Cheers. Yeah, that's that's so good. So freaking easy drinking. 5%. You could sit and just session the crap out of these beers because they are so, so good. Taste falls in those right up front. Just big, huge, huge grapefruit zest. Again, reminiscent of grapefruit sculpin, but... Since this is like a wheat beer, it's not like that crazy, bitter, kind of a hop bomb that um, Sculpin is. And not that Sculpin's like crazy hoppy, but if you're not really into IPAs, but you like like that citrusy kind of a grapefruit thing, this beer is, would be perfect for you. Yeah, just big grapefruit zest right up front. And then right like immediately following is those, you know, the citra hops. Um, oranges some tangerine like some sweet tropical fruits great like pop of bitterness middle of the mouth but it just finishes so clean it falls right off your palate um not like a drying finish it, it just keeps you wanting to just sit and sip on this that's solid solid stuff taking an already awesome beer fortunate islands and adding the grapefruit that's killer yeah, and even as this warms up a little bit more, like that bitterness kind of hangs on on the back end, but just finishes really, really clean. 
Really, really good. Super easy drinking. I mean, 5%. If you live anywhere where it's warm, this is an amazing, amazing summertime beer for sure. Um, as far as a grade on this one, I decided... Um, I stopped looking up beers beforehand on Beer Advocate, but Beer Advocate just changed the way they rate beers. People have to actually write out, I think it's like 150 characters in a beer review for it to count before people could just go in and you could just rate a beer. You'd be like, you know, taste five, you know, whatever, aroma four, whatever, however you do it. Um, but they decided to change it and you have to actually write out a review for it to count. So I decided anyways, I've been talking to a bunch of people, you can't compare an Imperial Stout to a double IPA. They're just not the same beer. And it's dumb, it's not, I don't wanna say you're dumb for doing that, but it's dumb in my mind to do that. They're not the same beer. So I'm gonna start grading beers based on what they are. So when I have a double IPA, I'm gonna grade that compared to the other double IPAs that I've had or the best IPAs that are out there. Same with Stouts. Before when I was doing grades, I was trying to figure out grades like based on what I think is the best beer, but there is no single best beer there's only best beers in style in my opinion so if you disagree with that that's fine um, leave a leave a comment and let me know why you disagree with that i just when you see like food competitions there's always like a steak competition or a burger competition you don't there someone there's not going to be someone entering a filet mignon against you know a grass-fed kobe beef burger it's not the same thing there's always going to be like the best burger or the best steak or the best whatever so I think there should be like the best stout or the best IPA, the best double IPA, the best porter, the best sour, the best barrel aged, whatever. So I'm going to start grading beers. It's just my, what I'm going to do, personal preference on the style. So we will grade this as far as wheat beers go. And if we're talking wheat beers, this is one of the best wheat beers I've ever had. Nothing that's going to like blow you away. Nothing that's going to be, you know, there's no sense in hyping this as like an Uber amazing beer this is a solid solid beer um for me it's an a i'm gonna go i mean i don't drink a lot of wheat beers i'm gonna go 93 on this one a i would definitely buy this again i will pick up more bottles of this because like i said this is a perfect summertime beer um fortunate islands it's i've already said it one of one of my favorite beers the best shelf beer you can just go buy in san diego for my money and my preference it's an awesome golf beer um, so I will definitely pick up more bottles of this. If you're in the Southern California area, this is definitely worth your time. I think I paid $6.99 at the brewery for this bottle. Um, so in liquor stores or whatever, maybe you I don't know if they're in, at Costco or not, but I mean, seven, eight bucks for a bomber. It's a great deal for a great beer. So definitely check this one out. It's absolutely worth it. If you're a fan of Fortunate Islands, it just takes that to the next level with that awesome kind of grapefruit thing. I love grapefruit beers. I'm a big IPA person. So this is... This is kind of like grapefruit sculpin, but just dialed down a couple notches because it's, I mean, it's a wheat beer. It doesn't have that crazy bitterness. It doesn't have that bite. If you're not into that thing, this is what you want to drink. So I'm going to wrap this one up, guys. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.